the ghost science kit from Amazon. I know it's for kids really, but I am over eight and it's got ghosts and science in the name. Why wouldn't I want to try it out? So in this video, I'm going to do a few of the ghostly experiments. In fact, I'll do eight of the 10. I can't do all of them because I don't have all the necessary bits I need to do the experiments. In the kit, you get a few, well, very little actually. I was surprised you get a plastic bottle, two little film canisters, a plastic jar, a little pot of glow paint, the instructions, goggles, uh, chemicals, powders, three white balloons, a marker pen, a paintbrush, and some tissue paper. Um, the problem is, in order to try the experiment, I had to also buy clear glue, some starch, some cotton buds, vinegar, rubber gloves, uh, some wiggly eyes, these are called, uh, and some bones, which were obviously hard to obtain. I used chicken bones. Uh, also a hex nut, a lemon, and some marshmallows. All that came to £12.79. That's double the cost of the actual box in the first place. Experiment one, so we're making clear ghost slime. I don't exactly know what this is, but I followed the instructions. I should point out that the clear glue, liquid starch and wiggle eyes that you need for this experiment aren't included in the kit, so you can't do this at all unless you go shopping first. Uh, so it tells me I need a bowl and I need to add into that 118 millilitres of water and 118 millilitres of clear glue, which is a really specific amount. Uh, you then give it a stir and you then add the same amount of liquid starch in and the instructions say, you will see the slime start to form right away. Mm, sort of, yeah. Uh, once your slime feels incorporated, add in your wiggle eyes as your ghost eyes. What? So, there you go. A bowl of clearish liquid with eyes floating in it. Okay, the next project is glowing ectoplasm. And what's weird is, rather than having to make slime myself this time, uh, with starch and glue and water, this one just comes with a pack of slime powder. Why not give me that for the first one? Uh, it doesn't say how much water I need in this one, it just says a bowl of warm water. And then you also add in some glow-in-the-dark paint, there's a tiny little pot. And then you stir the mixture until it becomes viscous but it never did. All I've got is slightly green, cloudy water. Um, so at this point it became apparent I've definitely put too much water in. So I took it away to the stove and reduced it down over a heat for about two hours. And I ended up with this glow in the dark ectoplasm that doesn't glow in the dark. Now this one I was looking forward to, uh, this is the ghost rocket and it told me not to do this one indoors um, but I did anyway because I don't care. Um, but basically you get a plastic film canister, draw a ghost face on it and then you pour in a little bit of vinegar and then you use the mysterious sounding chemical one which is actually just bicarbonate of soda. So it says to put two caps in, that's one and then two and then quickly put the lid back on, flip it over and run away to a safe distance of two meters. Uh, but unfortunately, I couldn't even turn it over without the lid bursting off a bit. But they do say if you want to make this more realistic and more ghost-like, you can sellotape a piece of tissue with a ghost face drawn on it to the canister. Ooh. Okay, so here's the science bit. This uh, experiment is a static electricity ghost um, and it involves another piece of tissue paper. Lucky they included that in the box. Uh, and ask your parents to help you with scissors because they're very dangerous. And cut out the shape of a ghost. There you go. And then again, draw a ghost face, which is becoming a little bit tedious now. Then when you've got your ghost ready, you use some sticky tape and you stick just the bottom of the ghost to a table so that the actual ghost can still move. Uh, you then get one of the balloons and blow it up. Turns out there was a hole in it, so actually I've only got two balloons with this kit, not three, which will cause a problem later. <sighs> Uh, once your balloon's blown up, rub it on yourself or a piece of cloth to build up some static. And then the instructions say, move the charged balloon over your ghost. Watch as the ghost rises up and dances around as you move the balloon back and forth. Hmm. Is it possible for a ghost to die? Hmm. 
Okay, the next experiment is Invisible Ink, which is probably more suitable to a spy kit than a ghost kit, but let's forget that. You need for this half a lemon, which isn't included in the set, water, which isn't included in the set, a bowl, which isn't included in the set, white paper, which isn't included in the set, a cotton swab, which isn't included in the set, and a lamp, which isn't included in the set. So the first thing you need to do is get half a lemon and squeeze the juice out into a bowl. Then add a drop of water, sorry, no, a few drops of water. Uh, you then take a cotton swab and dip it into the lemon juice mixture, then use the swab as a writing utensil to write your secret message on the paper. Um, once you've written your message, let the paper dry and you'll see it's invisible. Hold it in front of a lamp and... rubbish, just absolute rubbish. All you need for this is a balloon, a black marker and a hex nut. Now the balloon and the marker are included in the set, the hex nut isn't. I used a hazelnut instead. All you do is draw a face on your balloon, place the nut inside the balloon, blow the balloon up, and then you spin it around and you'll hear a creepy ghost screaming. Or what sounds like a distant tractor. The next one is Ghost Balloon, which again sounds fun. Uh, you draw a little ghost face on one of your balloons. Because one of mine had a hole in it, I've had to painstakingly pick the balloons not back open. You then pour a bit of bicarbonate soda into the balloon. I found the easiest way to do that was with a funnel. And you pour some vinegar into the bottle. Then you put the balloon over the top of the bottle and shake the bicarbonate of soda in. And let's see what the instructions say. Um, shake the chemical one out of the bottle, stand back and watch the ghost inflate. I feel that warning is probably not necessary. Uh, the final experiment is called bending bones and it involves putting a bone in some vinegar and making it bend. Unfortunately, all the fun is sucked out of this experiment uh, due to the fact that you've got to now wait three days after putting the bone in the vinegar. So it's not really a quick and easy experiment you can do. Once the bone's been soaked, you should find it bends. Uh, so this is the unsoaked bone, and as you can see, it's pretty solid. I can't bend it. I can't even break a chicken bone. Uh, if we take the one out of the vinegar, um, it feels nasty and slimy and a little bit spongy on the outside but it doesn't bend either. So there you have it, that is the Ghost Science Set, available now from Amazon, should you want to buy that and create and launch your own ghost using chemicals.